Number 15, 1972 Lincoln Sand was double diverse, graded as MS67 plus red by PCGS, and proven by CEC for Excelsior. A gorgeous fire red and olive green superb gem. Both sides appear devoid of contact and carbon is virtually absent. Among Lincoln Sands only the 1955S FS101 exhibits more prominent dye doublings than the 1972S FS101. Other double dye varieties are known for the 1972, but none compare with guidebook listed FS101. This highly sought after gem was bargained for $9,600. Number 14, nicely toned, 1963 D Washington Quarter, graded in mean state 67 by PCGS, with a mintage of excess of 135 million pieces. It is wonder that so few superb examples have been certified of the 1963 D. This is a well-preserved piece whose softly frosted mint luster has a significant presence of golden rose toning around the margins. It ended up selling for $9,400. Number 13, 1999 piece using B. Anthony dollar struck on Saka Javier dollar planchette. Fully lustrous golden color with bold cartwheel and a nice bold strike. Scattered bag marks are present, non individually serious. And the eye appeal is easily that of a gem or finer. The strike on this piece is different from that encountered on other specimens. It was sold for $10,350. Number 12, 1954S Washington Quarter in MS68 condition, beautifully toned, though versus layered in olive copper patina with softer blue-gray, gold and pale pink highlights that are most readily evident at direct viewing angles. The reverse is brilliant and both sides are equally well preserved to border on pristine. Sold for $12,000. Number 11. 1990 no S Lincoln set in PR69 deep cameo condition. The stippled field texture seen on this scent is characteristic of the no S proofs. This interesting and rare modern proof variety projects to have a surviving population of fewer than 200 coins, making it a must have rarity for the serious Lincoln scent collector. Essentially flawless and fiery red, this key Lincoln memorial scent is meticulously struck superb gem. Mirrored fields are so deep they appear black under direct light, surrounding frosted orange-red devices. It ended up selling for $19,975. Number 10. 1969's double dive were sent in circulated AU58 condition. Neither the most famous nor the widest of the Lincoln sent doubled dies. The 1969S FS101 easily is the most prized among the connoisseurs of the series, a low output variant to begin with. It suffered by being branded a counterfeit alongside forged 1969 Philadelphia dies. The mistake acknowledged only after several examples were melted. This lightly rubbed example must have been pulled from circulation soon after its release. Worn areas are noted on the high points of Lincoln's face complicated by one of two areas of deep brown on the portrait. Still glossy fields are brown with emerald and blue overtones. It was sold for $19,975. Number 9. Here is 1964 Jefferson Nickel with repunched mint mark D, otherwise called D over D, graded in mint state 66 by PCGS. The repunching is clear with a loop but may escape detection. By the unaided eye, each side is brilliant and satiny with slight reflectivity discerned in the fields. A few tiny marks are not bothersome. Although the steps of Monticello exhibits a typical softness, this coin is otherwise well struck and pleasing. It ended up selling for $19,800. Number 8. Here is 1945D Washington Quarter in mid state 68. Among the 1945D quarters certified MS68 by PCGS, this awe inspiring superb gem offers not only superior technical quality but also outstanding eye appeal. The peripheries are splashed with vivid multicolored toning that gives way to softer powder blue and antique silver iridescence in the centers. It was sold for $20,400.
Number 7. An error coin 1943 as walking liberty of dollars struck on a Peruvian half soul planchet. The present coin is ranked number 49 in the 2010 edition of 100 Greatest U.S. Error Coins, where it's noted that only two walking liberty of dollars are known struck on foreign planchet. It also comes with doubled elements on obverse. The satiny, sun gold, and rose red surfaces are unabraded but display minor carbon. FS101 exhibits die doubling on Ingard Wood Trust and the Sun Rays. It was sold for $21,150. Number 6. 1944 Lincoln Sand struck on a zinc coated steel planchet, graded as AU55 by NGC. Highly elusive wartime wrong planchet error. Isolated softness of detail is noted for the centers and here and there around the peripheries. Here are no marks of consequence, although we do note speckles of russet colors that are associated with light carbon deposits. Undeniably original in preservation and generally smooth in hand. It was sold for $21,600. Number 5. Yet another error coin, 1980p Canada of dollars struck on a 1979p Anthony dollar. Most of the eagle and Anthony portrait from the undertype survived the strike between half dollar dies. Much of the Anthony dollar date is readable on the clouds of the half dollar reverse. The half dollar mint mark is bold and half dollar date is partial, although unquestionably 1980. The dollar mint mark appears near the eagle's right wing tip. It was sold for $22,325. Number 4. 1992 Lincoln Sand was close AM in reverse, graded in mean state 64 red and brown by PCGS, a near gem example of this elusive modern key issue, important as a guidebook variety and widely sought by Lincoln Sand specialists. The cherry picker's reference notes that the reverse design of 1993 was employed on some circulation strike 1992 cents. Letters A and M in America are close to each other. Almost touching, this elusive gem ended up selling for $22,800. Number 3. The 1963 Franklin Half Dollar is an easily obtainable issue in general, and even full bell lines examples can be found with little searching. At the premium gem grade level, however, its availability plunged drastically. This piece displays vibrant, fully brilliant luster and razor sharp design elements. The surface preservation is excellent. It was sold for $28,200. Number 2. 1911 Lincoln Sand in MS67 red condition, a nearly flawless example boasting a uniform golden apricot coloration across each side. Rich moth like luster blankets the fields, creating a lightly proof like complexion across the rivers. Remarkably sharp for the issue and immensely attractive to examine in hand, a microscopic mint made planchet flow below the M of America is only discernible pedigree marker. It fetched the sum of $42,000. Number 1. 1925D Lincoln Sand in MS66 red condition. It's very difficult to obtain one in this condition. PCGS reported just three specimens in MS66 condition with non finer. This fully brilliant premium gem has gorgeous orange mint luster with both design details for an issue that's notorious strike rarity. In fact, design definition is sharp on this example. The surfaces are frost and pristine, entirely void of marks or spots. The coloration is brilliant, sunset orange. Sold for $74,750. We hope you enjoyed this look at the 15 extraordinary rare coins to seek in 2023. Remember to subscribe to our channel for more exciting content. See you later.